Hello, dear viewers. Today, we continue our program, Six Degrees of Connection. Each live broadcast, we connect new people from different countries using the rule of six handshakes. For those who have not heard about this rule, it is an idea that all people are six or fewer social connections away from each other. Our goal is to meet new people from all around the world in order to get to know their culture and traditions and ask them, what type of society would you like to live in? And thanks to social media networks, we believe this is totally possible. And if you would like to take part, please send us an email. We are honored to introduce our guest today. Please introduce yourselves. Uh, today we have with us Master Wan. Hello, welcome, nice to meet you. And uh, also we have, uh, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't get your name. And Shao. And, and Mastima yes. is uh, um, right now in Poland right now, but originally from Ethiopia. And the show is in Berlin <laughs> today. And we also, I've, I see finally um, Amare is connected. We ask you kindly to turn your phone horizontally, please. Great. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> yeah and uh... So we would like to ask our guests, what do you love most about your country? What makes you proud of being Ethiopian? <clears throat> Who is going to start? Yeah, I can start. Please. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you or thank you all for just inviting such uh, to be a part of this important and wonderful project and uh, having said this i would like to just introduce you uh, something about ethiopia what what things makes most ethiopians are proud of in their country as one member of my i mean citizen of my country just i'm very much proud of uh, especially the cultural heritages and the history. Some of you might know that Ethiopia is, you know, a long history of uh, a long history of written. We have just a long tradition of written history, and uh, more like different heritages, like. Uh, the Aksum Obelisk, the Laliba Rock Hyun Church. These are, you know, the, the magnificent and very much important things that makes me very much proud of in my country. And beyond that, uh, given that Ethiopia is a multi-ethnic and multilingual, I mean, multilinguistic country, this, you know, different you know ethnic groups are living coexistent with coexistent and there is a kind of appreciation of difference um, uh, just th they are living it in in coexistent but you know these days there are there is something like a problem amongst all these like uh, ethnic groups but above all I'm very much proud of like in my country's history and the long I mean a tradition uh and some like uh and the churches as well like i'm very much proud of like the ethiopian orthodox church because it is very very much you know foundational for our history our for our independence uh, and something like that Thank you so much. Our technical support has prepared beautiful collages with pictures of Ethiopia for our viewers could see it, not just to hear about them. So 
um, um, Master Wan, do you see pictures on the screen? Yes, I can. You can also com comment on them on. Uh, and yeah. maybe Elisha also can add something for our friend Amarem. So, um, so what makes you guys proud? Please tell us what makes you proud and what we see. Um, I think Amara's microphone is not Okay, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Ask for apologies. I forgot it. First of all, I would like to say thank you for all of you because it's, it's just my first time. I heard about this few minutes before the master all invited me to join you guys. So I really appreciate what you are doing. As I, I can understand from your your saying, it's really it's really nice and. Uh, I love I love a lot of things about my country, you know, like the people are so nice, you know, the people are so uh, lovely. And as Mastual said before, we have we have I can say almost all the people riding there are original. I, I mean, like indigenous and uh, they have their own unique culture. Uh, and actually, I'm just currently I'm studying in Norway. And when I'm asked to tell about my country, I will, I will, I will be confused because we have a lot. And <laughs> I, <laughs> I have beautiful. a lot which I don't know about my country because, you know, all these people, they have their unique culture, their unique, you know, like you feel like you are in a, a, a continent. So, and, and uh, I, I'm also very, very proud of my country's ancestors because, uh, they must all say before they maintain the independent like the independence of the country for long and we have also a very very long and old history of a state state organization state structure state development i'm really proud of that and we have a lot of uh, tangible and intangible historical sites so it's really a beautiful country and what i love about my country another thing is just we have a very, very nice climate and the climate condition is so nice. Like throughout the year, we have a beautiful one. So just. <laughs> Are you able to see the collages? Uh, sorry? Like, Are you able to see the pictures? Yeah, yeah, I can see like, the red fox, the camels, the <laughs> and some of them are in my locality, like in my community. And the food, <laughs> so delicious. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you guys have the chance to taste this food? This food? <laughs> Actually, I did because I mm -hmm. have a uh, um, Ethiopian restaurant. Oh. And nice. yeah, uh, once our friends invited, so um, I experienced that. <laughs> I really like oh. it. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Yeah. And we have um, um, another guest that connected to us, Gatna. Thank you so much for joining us today. And right now, uh, all of our participants were asking, uh, answering the question, what do they like about Ethiopia? What makes them proud? So maybe you can also share with us before we move to the second part. And don't forget to turn your microphone, otherwise we will not be able to hear you. Your microphone is still muted. Nesha, she's talking about you. She's talking with you. Actually, yeah, we, we don't hear you. Microphone is off. Okay, I told you so is uh, Hello. getting us. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I have introduced myself previously, but for the new Ethiopian uh, friends, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Gitinet Tababu from Mizantepe University. Uh, uh, so I have a, I, I had a wonderful uh, meeting, Zoom meeting previously with different 
colleagues from different corners of the world. And today uh, I'm looking the Ethiopian face. Many of them are from Ethiopia. <laughs> nice to meet you. So I, I didn't hear the, the question very well, but could you speak loudly and tell me so that I can explain? Yes, yes. The question was, what do you like the most about your country? Oh, it's a, what makes you proud? That's a lot. It is a very interesting question, but uh, I love uh, a lot of things from my country. But the most important thing which I like is the weather condition, the environment conditions, the climatic conditions of Ethiopia is very comfortable for us. Uh, except very few places, most of Ethiopian places uh, are very interesting to live. So the climatic conditions of Ethiopia is so uh, interesting. The other point is the good hospi hospitality of the people. The people are very sociable. We are highly you know, intermingled uh, each other and one another. Ethiopia is a peaceful country, uh, relatively. It's a peaceful country, uh, and uh, I like the 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 weather condition, uh, the good hospitality of the people, and uh, the presence of peacefulness in our country, and uh, the food. Even uh, it's very there are very delicious foods from Ethiopia. So in different uh, restaurants, there are very interesting foods. So the sociability of the people, there are many things. And uh, the unique animals, the endemic animals are, there are a lot of endemic animals, tourist attraction animals are there. There are historical places like Lalivela, Aksum. Uh, there are a lot of uh, places, Gondor Palace and uh, the Lake Tana. There are a lot of places in Ethiopia, which is, which are, very interesting for uh, tourists. So there are a lot of things. I, ca I can't finish it by this time. There are a lot of things. Yeah, thank you so much. And technical support right now showing the all architecture heritage that you just mentioned. So um, thank you so much, technical support, for reacting that fast. So yeah, indeed, uh, Ethiopia is a very interesting country, and it's like really like worth it to visit and um, and stay along, so you can experience that culture, that tradition, and um, it's just amazing. It looks really, really good, and I truly hope that one day we will be able to go there um, all together and meet there. So, um, and um, I think we slowly move into the second part of our program and we would love to know like how you people, especially right now, we have such a diverse team. So um, I'm wondering how you envision creative society, the model of the society in which every single person on earth can live happily and comfortably. So um, please maybe, who wants to go first and share? Okay, then let's let's do like we do it at school. Uh, Amara, your name starts with A, so you go first. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to turn your microphone. <laughs> MRM, your microphone is off. Okay, now I am on. Sorry. Like, can you give me a little more explanation about the question? Just... So, we're asking you about the model of the society that you would like to live in. How you envision creative society? Society in which everybody um, can live happily and comfortably. What do you need? Okay. <laughs> What do I need is just, actually I need so many things, but <laughs> most of all is like, uh, I want every, every, every society to be more inclusive because uh, naturally we are very diversified. We have, we have different political ideologies. We have different physical appearance. We have different color. We have, you know, we have different belief systems. So uh, for me is 
like I wish a society that can include all and that can have uh, a sign for each of the, the each each and every individual. So I need that society to happen even in my country, everywhere in the world. Uh, yeah. That's true. That's true. That foundation is very important because, like. Um, we are all equal, we're all the same. So, uh, and the human life is the highest value yeah. for everybody. That's true. I would love to see our foundation, uh, our society like really built on that foundation. Yeah. So um, the next letter is letter E. So in the shell, could you please share your <laughs> vision? And also, friends, don't forget to turn microphone on. I'm sorry. <laughs> do, do you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. <laughs> okay. A kind of society where um, I would like to live is most importantly peaceful society, uh, particularly um, in terms of uh, democracy. It, Everyone has to be represented in a given nation, a given society. So the voice of everyone should be heard. And um, the other thing, in terms of social justice as well, you know, it's not uh, for me. A society shouldn't be um, where um, rich and the poor people. Uh, the, the difference, the gap between rich and poor people, shouldn't be high. So at least moderate level. So it shouldn't be purely capitalist and they shouldn't be also kind of uh, more socialist but in the middle so in terms of social justice in terms of um, mental and so social security um, that has to be kind of moderate level at least uh, uh, peace in inner and outside peace is very important for me That's... okay yeah, creative society is a peaceful society, first of all. And uh, maybe Mastavan also wants to share with his opinion how he sees the creative society, society where he could feel happily in all spheres of life. Tatiana, you didn't learn your alphabet. But anyway, <laughs> she, she, she might not hear you, maybe. <laughs> what should we do? No, 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 go ahead. Hmm. Master Wong, could Can you I go? Okay. Yeah. You know, sometimes it might, it seems like ideal. For example, Americans are envisioning like a just democracy, a just democratic society. They are envisioning a just democratic society. But it seems an idea, but it is possible still. But for me, um, just env envisioning my country, just empathic and treating other people unconditionally. Just, just treating and helping people unconditionally, regardless of whether that individual is coming from either Europe, America, and something like that. Just because of just helping others or treating others because that individual is human being. So I need this kind of people in my country. And I'm envisioning and I'm working to build and to construct this kind of mental state in my country. And the other, as my, my fellow friends and my fellow citizens said, I'm always, I'm, I'm sometimes, you know, envious about like uh, just construct or creating uh, modernized is a bit, you know, it's controversial term, uh, more secure society in terms of like criminality um, and social security in general and this kind of, and uh, as you might know that because given that we're in the third world country, and there is actually relative to Europe and American and America, uh, our society is a bit, you know, uh, there's economical problem. So as long as all these pro economical problems are resolved, it's really difficult to re realize, you know, 
like we, it's impossible or it's really difficult to talk about like security and uh, uh, peaceful peace, peace and something like that. So just I want my people to be, you know, change their daily life and something like that. These are the values I'm envisioning for our community and um, our society. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So you would like to see everyone with all the things they need. Yeah. Right. Right. A great vision. Yeah. And so, could, uh, dear professor, could you share with us your vision about creative society? How it is for you? How you envision such a society? Can you hear us, please? Yes, I think I see your microphone is turned on. So could you please answer the question about creative society, about your vision? Okay, the question is to who, to me or to yes, 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 to, to you, to you, to you, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, it was a uh, 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 yeah, it was mute. Okay, sorry. So as I explained, as I tried to explain previously, creative society for me is a society which accepts the, the differences in culture, in language. For example, in Ethiopia, there are different languages, more than 80 languages in Ethiopia, and there are diversified cultures, but we respect one another we respect each other we respect one another so if you give value for others the others also will give you value back so that is the most important important thing in in uh, uh, the developed country and also in the third world countries so respecting others value is the most important thing the other thing is educating and creating awareness you know uh, we should create uh, awareness uh, in different community services, in, uh, in social services. For example, I am creating an awareness and I'm supporting my community, my district, the place where I was born. I am creating a Telegram group and I am I'm helping, I'm organizing, I'm an, a managing director there in order to build a health center in our society. Because I I have researched that my my district, my community, uh, they Oh, unfortunately, internet is not cooperating with us. So let's, oh yeah, you're back. Could you please continue? Uh, sorry, uh, it's because of the internet connection. This is one, one of the problem, okay, in Ethiopia, but slowly by slowly, ANEG can work, no problem. We, we, we will improve all these things uh, through the future. So let me continue. So uh, what, uh, let me share my experience, what I am doing in my district. You know, I created a Telegram group uh, and I collected more than 2.8 million burr, Ethiopian burr, and I'm uh, assisting and I'm helping the community in my Orada, in the place where I was born. I'm just a managing director there and uh, I'm helping the society to build a health center. There is a health center. There, is, there was no health center in that uh, district, but now it is on the process of building a health center. So in doing so, I can create uh, a creative society. Uh, and also we are facilitating the society, how we are going to protect from COVID-19. We are organizing professionals in different field of studies and we sent those people to that Warada or that, to that district, then the people are creating awareness to the society, to the community. So uh, in doing so, we can create a creative society. This is one of the examples. 
but there are different different clusters or different workshops uh different seminars uh through which we can create a creative society that is what i have yes that's, yeah, that's great what you're doing there that's great absolutely thank wonderful you. this thank is you. really good example how one person can take the responsibility and to do many many good things yeah thank absolutely. you thank you thank yes. you and if we really would like to see our world like as a happy place so we need to like really realize our own responsibility and stop like like moving the responsibility to somebody else's shoulders and um in how we can do it and it's actually very easy it's super easy right now in the moment when we have like such a technology uh, we can really unite as a one family around one girl goal around one idea to have a like a society like worthy like of living society that helps society that care for every single person on earth and right now we are we can do a lot basically and the first step is the start to talk about to like really define our goal how we people would like to see it because if all humanity will really unite around this idea then for us it will be like super possible it will be very very easy it will be just a question of i don't know like a couple of years to really make such a society our reality because we human we have like huge potential we just need to like really like put it and direct it to the right right way and right now so that's why we invite all people around the world to join that global initiative to join this kind of broadcast organize like even more conferences like organize like round tables and like just simply talk to your friends your family members your co-worker about creative society about the vision how they see it so because we need to make this idea popular we need it like for, that we will hear it and see it from all social media sources from all mass media sources that is something good that's something that like really make us human that like really encourage us to do something like really really good for us for our future for our children and dear friends we are so honored that you were here with us today and we really would like to continue that conversation with you and i also would like to let you know that on the our website alatraunites.com we uh, have a very interesting article that describes like all eight foundation that needed in order to build such a society and i would love to you to read these articles and really get together one more time to discuss it because i know from your field of study uh, it will be very very interesting and i would like to hear your professional opinion about that topic so how uh, sociology see it what can we do from the sociology perspective how we can help how we can unite people what can be the goal that can truly unite all people right now and what each of us can do in order to achieve it so we have uh, one more guest we haven't heard from yet is it me <laughs> <laughs> Hello. wonderful answers it was just a pleasure to listen you know um thank you so much what i would just add is that Probably, um, you know, a creative society for me is a very giving society. It's when the other person comes first. <laughs> so when we think about like other people, then other people see kind of example, you know, that we care about each other. And of course, <laughs> it's a caring society, basically, a creative society, a very caring society. And I absolutely agree, Marina. These eight foundations, they're just amazing and they actually show us all the steps. And the very first foundation is a human life. And um, I do agree that 
if everybody will realize that this first foundation is the basic, then very, very soon, <laughs> a creative society, you know, um, it already becomes a reality. I do believe it is a reality now. We do live this life already. Just not everybody knows yet about this. That's why, like, our goal is just to spread the word. And that's it. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, the whole idea is to connect with all people because we feel that all people have the desire to live as one. And it just needs to be awakened. It's awareness, it's inclusion. It's all of those things that we desired when we were kids. And as adults, we not only have a chance, but we can take the chance at the responsibility of actually making it happen. And that's what this social networking is all about. This is what creative society is all about, connecting with one another, learning from one another, and actually doing something about the lives we live. Yeah, Leslie, this um, topic of uh, you know responsibility is so important because if we speak up, every single person you know <laughs> will actually say what they really think, what they really want, uh, and. Um, because we've been talking to some, we've been asking so many people what kind of society they want to live in. And every single person wants to live in a peaceful world, you know, <laughs> with like where people respect each other, where they love each other. Then it is then real because every single person wants it. Of course, it is possible. Yeah. So, dear friends, thank you so much for um, joining us today. And dear viewers, if you would like to learn more about the project Creative Society, please visit our website, allowtreunites.com. By pressing the Join button, you can choose on which level you would like to participate in this project, as well as let us know how you envision Creative Society. And if you would like to be part of that project, please send us an email to info at alatra.com. And don't forget to share this video with two hashtag, hashtag creative society and hashtag alatra unites. And let's test the <laughs> six degrees uh, of connection, six handshakes theory with us. It's a very interesting. So we truly would like to learn every single person on earth. So thank you so much and we will see you next time. Bye. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you so we, much. We we respect you. you. Much respect and love. Nice to you. Ethiopia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great visit. Wonderful people. Thank you. Sure, you have to, yeah. <laughs>